give you a panorama of the experiment deck. We're going to have to replace several of the fiberglass panels on the top. Fortunately, time, mold, and climate have taken their toll. All right. Here's the air vent. It's actually being held up by the ducting. It's come out of the um, it's come out of the wall. So we're going to have to um, get up there in about the next week or two and put some scaffolding up and remove it to make sure it doesn't come to the ground. Um, that will be a bit of a task where it's ways a bit, so we're going to have a few folks up here to make that happen. We're going to make sure we get a safe plan that it's agreed to by all the parties involved. All right. You can see here's the lab lights just that have come out of the ceiling just hanging by their electrical cables. Let's see, there's the wastewater, oh, there's the water tanks. They're in remarkably good shape, as is most of the ducting, the plumbing, the electrical systems. They're pretty good. A lot of cleaning involved, but not many of the structures are similarly so have to be replaced. Minimal rust. Okay. Some of the other systems we're going to have to fix. One of the scientific airlocks. There's an intercom we need to pull. We pulled all but two in the lower deck. One's in the galley, one's in the bathroom. One in the bathroom's not too bad. The galley's okay, but needs to have a little work done. Oh, the file cabinet's not flight either. All right, the kiddie pool, don't laugh, but um, was an innovation. A good idea we used for soaking some of the systems that we had to wash um, the drawers and things just to make sure they came out.